Hello guys and thanks for coming to my YouTube channel Blender Ustad. In this video we will create a weaved single bed in Blender 2.81. So let's get started. First of all select all and delete it and then shift A and simply add a plane. Now go to the edit mode control R and add a loop here. And then select these tools and these tools and then X to delete. Now you will get this one. So scale it with Y and then control R and add some loops something like this and now select all and press F3 and search for checker deselect and you will find it here and now go to the uh, side view and grab these vertex up something like this and then control I to inverse and grab these one down Okay, so now uh, simply add a skin modifier to make it skin and then go to the edit mode and then to the wireframe and select all and control A to scale it. Okay, and now add a subdivision modifier with level 2. And now apply this one in object mode and then shift D duplicate and then grab it a bit up and then rotate it with Y direction at 180 degree okay now again go to the side view and now let's grab it somewhere uh, around there okay So as you can see we get this holes. Now select these tools and control J to join. Now grab it with X like this and add an array modifier to array it. And then grab this one to make it a bit wider. And let's count it to something like 10. But as you can see the length is too much so we will decrease it a bit sorry make this one 15 and let's decrease the distance a bit. okay so now it's fine just decrease it to uh, increase it to like 20 and select all and then scale it y make it a little small now shift a and add a cylinder again scale it with shift Z to something like this and then rotate with X and with Y 90 degree and then go to the top view and grab it somewhere around there so we need to make sure it it's in the hole so I will grab it a little up and then scale it with shift X and grab it to the Y a bit and go to the edit mode select all and shift D duplicate it X at Y direction so now we get this thing now select it and add an array modifier and we will make this one zero will make this value uh, in minus somewhere around there to make it like this and then count increase the count and make it 11 to fit in it just increase the distance a bit So now again select all and we will scale it a bit to make it something like this and also make it at center now shift a and add a cylinder and scale it with shift and z 
to something like this this will be the width of the bed so scale it at z a little and grab it somewhere around there okay and now grab it to the y and go to the top view and make it something like this now go to the edit mode and shift d to duplicate at x and then select these tools and shift d and make it on the y okay and now select this one press l to select it and then shift d to duplicate grab it a bit up and grab it at x 90 degree and then go again to the top grab it at y to make it in center and then scale it with y now grab it down and also make sure that these four will be a little up okay so now again select this one with l go to the top view and shift d to duplicate at x and then shift d to duplicate and grab it to the x then rotate it 90 degree and grab it to the y and scale it with x again duplicate it with y and grab it there So now we are done with it. Just select it and double click to select these and go to the wireframe and B to box select and select the top of these. Now extrude it up and then go to this option and make it individual origin. So it will now scale it individually and then extrude it one more time and then scale it again down. So now we get this thing. Now go to the left view and select it. Go to the wireframe and select this and then grab it to the Y and grab it a little more. So this will be the end of this. And also make sure to smooth it. So it will look good. Now shift A and we will add a curve and then rotate it with x 90 degree and with z 90 degree. Okay. Now go to again the left view, grab it there, scale it, and then go to the edit mode, select this one, grab it down and grab this one up we want to scale it this this place but it's not scaling because th this is now in vector so all we need to do is press V and make this one to elegant Okay. so now select this one and S to scale and it will scale it now so it's a good trick to use it like it it will make the uh, it will make this trick a little bit easy so as you can see if I scale it it's now fit in it okay so now we need to convert it to a pipe for that we need to shift a and add another curve scale it down select this one go to the curve setting and go to the geometry and in the bevel we will add that circle so now it's pretty much big so scale it down and it's look something like this now grab it with x a bit and now right click and grab it 
uh, and click on the option called convert to mesh so now it's not curve it's the mesh so we will uh, select it and in edit mode we will go to the top and shift D to duplicate it X and then shift R to repeat the process okay and we need to do the last thing now shift A and simply add a circle scale it down and rotate it with 90 degree scale it down and then try to match it go to the left view and also match it from this direction again scale it and grab it somewhere around here we'll select this one and turn on the proportional editing and we'll grab it to the y to the x a bit okay now grab it y and go to the modifier and add a skin modifier so i can also do it with curves but the, the way why i did it it because i want to share more and more tricks and tips so i can also do it with curve so now i will apply this and add a subdivision modifier and make it to 2 okay and now scale it with alt s but first we need to make it to the uh, median median point grab it there this will be for these two points now shift D and duplicate it with Y direction and then select these tools and go to the top view shift D with Y grab it there and then shift R to repeat the process okay so we are done with this side we will duplicate this one and grab it to the X and this will be now for this side so now and for this side we will also do the same so select it with L go to the top view shift D duplicate grab it there rotate it 90 degree and grab it to the X Alt S to scale it and Shift D duplicate at Y at X and then Shift R to repeat the process. So it's pretty much done now. One thing we can do is we can add a subdivision modifier to it to make it a bit more smooth. So it looks something like this because we don't have enough geometry here. So I will add some loops here. Control R and add a loop and grab it there. So do the same thing with all of these. So here is it, I hope you like and if you like then please give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. For now, bye.